Hi guys, so we're about to head to the Sick New World Festival right now. Are you ready? Yep. So day two in Vegas, mm -hmm. first day of Sick New World, and it's gonna be packed. It's what right now? It's like 11, I think. It's Almost like 11. It 11. Starts at 11. It starts at 11. I got my fanny pack, all the essentials. So we'll see you there. It's insanely packed here. Inside the festival grounds now. Luckily, they have some water refill stations, and Alien Ant Farm is playing on the main stage. I think it was the green stage, and we don't want to miss them, but we also don't want to be dehydrated. Yeah, so this one has no there. line. The other one's crazy long. Yeah, there's a few, and they're super crazy. So, yeah. so the festival policy was that you could bring a water bottle or any type of bottle, but it had to be empty. I'm assuming they didn't want people sneaking in some type of liquor, like vodka or rum or something. So we just got an empty water bottle, but now we're regretting it because we're gonna be doing probably like 13 hours of walking. It's 11 or it's 12 o'clock right now, and I'm assuming the festival's gonna get over at like 12 or 1. Yeah. And we were in line for 30 minutes or so too. Also, we should have brought a big jug because when people come to the main stage, this water station is gonna be so long. Yeah. Like, I think I'm going to get some food because I wasn't able to eat this morning. Yeah, we had a rush this morning because we are staying in a big Airbnb with a whole bunch of friends. We went to bed at 5 a.m. and got up at like 9. Customer is not in beer yet. $7? $16? We originally thought it was $5 for three tacos because that's how it was advertised, but it's $5 per street taco. So we got three. Look what you did to the spoon. I know. The straw. Oh. Yeah, what I was about to say is they didn't give us a spoon for our shaven ice. They gave us a straw. Yeah. But good thing we just mushed it up and it melted so hopefully it doesn't taste like water. And the overpriced street tacos were the worst tacos we've ever had. Those, like I'm not even joking, those were really, really bad. I don't know what it was. I can't even use a straw, it doesn't work, look. Now he's coming through. Barely. The alien ant farm just ended their set. We heard Smooth Criminal playing, but we didn't get to catch them. We just saw like one song. We were so thirsty that we had to go Dude. get drinks. Hey, you okay? You okay? P.O.D. is next mm. from the South Town. Now it's working. Chevelle Turnstile, I'm really excited to see. Evanescence, pretty excited. And then the big hitters at the end.
the time right now? I think it's about to be six. Yeah, Evanescence is playing their hit song, Bring Me to Life, and we're heading over there. We got two lemonades. It was 26 bucks. Dude. Dude. We're pissed off about this price in here. It's not even that big. Nah. We were gonna get $8 lemonade next to it, but the workers were going so slow, like snails. It wasn't worth the savings. No. And we've been drenching ourselves in water because it's so hot here. It's like 90 degrees right now. I've been wetting my hair, wetting our clothes. It's terrible. We've had to miss a few bands just because we needed a rest. So. Yeah, feel like passing out a few times. <laughs> I guess we're not festival goers. No. But...
packing up because we're about to leave the Airbnb. Our <laughs> trip in Vegas is coming to an end. It's 9 a.m. We have to be out at 10. I gotta pack all this. Bruh. Was it all worth it? Like, we're in agreement that it was, and we've taken a few days now. It's been three days. It's Tuesday, May 16th, and the festival was Saturday, May 13th. So we've had some time to look over it, look over the footage, and really take it all in. And it's pretty crazy. At the time, we didn't really know what to expect. We hadn't gone to a festival, and we thought it was just going to be a bigger show than what we're already used to. But it really was something different. What made us start to open our eyes on that was going to Circus Circus the day before we walked the strip and we could hear corn sound checking and we could just see how big the festival was with nobody inside of it, which was really crazy. So the day of, we saw just how many people were there and all the pop-ups and everything that there was to do and all the bands, of course. And then the third thing was our Uber driver. When we got our Uber back to the Airbnb after the show, he had mentioned that being from San Diego wasn't that far because he was picking up people from Australia and Europe. That really sealed the deal on just how much of a once of a lifetime experience this was. So that brings us to some of the cons. What would you say? Just how hot it was. It was, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad because since I'm from California and I don't really go in hot weather, I just saw 90 degrees and I was like, oh, okay. Cause it's been 90 here, but it's not like that. Like that. The dry heat there. Yeah. And that was leading to dehydration. We felt terrible. And then when you wanted to go to shade, everybody was crowded around it because the festival was so crowded. And then those crowds led to the bands being hard to see because there was just so many people. And one of the craziest things was when you're in those crowds, even if you're not moving, you just get dehydrated. So pair mm -hmm. that with the sun and everything. That was crazy. I and went to the bathroom to get my hair wet and he went to get his uh, shirt wet. And when I walked into the bathroom, there was just lines of girls sitting on the floor, not even in line to go to the bathroom, just it was so hot. And that was the only shade in there. They're sitting on the floor in the bathroom. And we obviously weren't the only ones because what we saw next to the bathroom was one of many medical tents, mm -hmm. which was lined up with people inside. When we were watching Papa Roach, we saw somebody getting carried out of the pit or um, deeper like the down the crowd. Area deeper down the crowd we saw somebody getting carried out and they were unconscious due to heat exhaustion we had somebody pass out on you during system of a down right yeah he landed like right on my foot he was like walking weird and all of a sudden he just like fell over another and heat exhaustion somebody had to help him go out and something else that is pretty weird that we saw there was like this guy he just like he was like hitting his girlfriend like these guys like took him out of the like kicked him out of the area and then he came back a few minutes later and he's like crying to the girl and like pulling on her clothes and then all of a sudden just takes his shirt off and sits on the floor and there's just a circle around him because nobody wanted to be around him. But I felt back as the girl because he was like hitting her obviously and they're like arguing and then during lonely day of System of a Down they're just like hugging. Well, he's having it, tears roll down his cheeks. It was so confusing. And people asked her if she wanted help or needed help, and she was just, like, brushing it off. So the upsides, though, were we got to see tons of bands, and mm -hmm. it was our favorite genre, new metal, hard rock, and it was a once-in-a-lifetime thing. But that brings us to the prices. So the festival tickets were $700 for both of us, so $350 each. That was $250 advertised price plus a $100 site fee or fee mm -hmm. just to get the ticket. Airbnb was 215 215 for two nights. Then Uber to the show was 13. Uber back to the Airbnb was 34. Mm -hmm. So that came out to $47 total for Uber. And then food at the event, which you saw, which was like nothing, was $61, which came out to a total of 1,023 bucks, which obviously wasn't paid off all in one time, yeah. but it's still a lot. And that's, that's why we don't know if we do it again, because definitely wouldn't do it again in Vegas in May but you just gotta plan out well, make sure that you have money saved up and are willing to go to a festival. This was our first time at a festival and what would you think, would you wanna do this again? Or it really depends, right? It depends on where it is. I definitely probably wouldn't wanna go early in the morning like we did. I probably just wanna go later when the bigger bands are playing, just cause it's, unless it's not as hot, I don't think, I think it would be fine, but I don't know. We'll have to see, but 
if they have a sick new world too we can see i know if you watch the video was edited you'll see that we talked a lot more in the early day and then it's just all clips of bands in the late yeah. night because we were so tired and during the day we we're like we're never coming to one of these things again but I, we were feeling like passing out sometimes yeah so definitely not vegas in the middle of may we're not going to a festival then that brings us to the end of this video Thank you guys for watching. We should have another Vegas video coming out where it details our trip to Vegas and different things we did, like walk the strip and go to mm -hmm. Fremont Street in the hotel we stayed at. And I'll detail the prices more in depth of the whole Vegas trip. So thank you all for watching.